Hello, I am Gus. And I'm Megan. Yeah, we're with Out and Back, and we are talking about the Marmot Trestle Elite Eco Sleeping Bag. Yeah, so a couple things to note, just the basics. It's a 20 degree sleeping bag, and it is a mummy shape. So what that means is that it's gonna be definitely a little bit more of a narrow sleeping bag. Um, this is a pretty common shape for backpacking sleeping bags. It starts a little bit wider in the shoulders, gets down to pretty narrow by the feet. Um, it's gonna hug your head, right? Yeah, definitely hug your head. There's also the some like cinch points at the where your face would go to keep it a little bit tighter and keep some of that extra warmth in. Yeah, that's um, nice. Another nice thing about mummy sleeping bags, they have slightly, well, depending on how you sleep, but they do have slightly narrower feet, like a foot box, keeps it a little bit warmer in there. Um, so that's one of the pros of a mummy bag. I like too, when I use a mummy bag like this, you can just stuff clothes or something as a pillow and it's like not going to move around at all. Yeah. So um, I think taking into account the way you sleep is kind of important when choosing the shape of a mummy bag. If you're generally comfortable on your side, mummy bags might feel pretty constrictive. Mm -hmm. um, I know that I can sometimes struggle in a mummy sleeping bag, but if you feel comfortable sleeping on your back, mummy is definitely a great option and a pretty common shape to find for backpacking bags. So what about um, the insulation of this one? So this one is synthetic insulation. Um, they, Marmot, the maker of the sleeping bag, does a blend of recycled materials to make their synthetic insulation. Um, it definitely does create a little bit higher loft feel than some standard synthetics, but you can tell it's not down um, just because it's a little stiffer um, and has a bit of a, a little bit more weight to it. So what would be, I guess for anybody who doesn't know, what's gonna be the main differences they would notice between a synthetic bag like this and a down. Yeah, synthetic usually doesn't compress quite as much as a down sleeping bag, so you end up getting a little bit less warmth to weight ratio. So um, you're not gonna be getting quite as much warmth and it's gonna be a little bit heavier. So when it's gonna be either a really cold environment or it's a trip that weight is very important, um, synthetic isn't always your best bet. But one of the good things about synthetic is that it's more water resistant. Um, down sleeping bags, if they get wet, it's going to take a lot longer for them to dry, um, which can be a big downer on a trip. So that is a pro, definitely a synthetic. It's also a more budget friendly option. So if you're going to be doing um, less aggressive backpacking trips or something where, you know, you might be concerned about it getting wet, um, you can save a little bit of money and get a synthetic bag. And that translates too into cleaning your bag. If you do clean it, I kind of let my bag get really dirty. So I don't clean it that often, not as often as I should, but synthetic and down are two different things to consider because they it affects how long it yeah. takes to clean, right? Yeah, well, I think synthetic insulation is just a little bit, like, probably less sensitive to getting yeah. wet, getting clean. Um, but there are some good washes out there, probably good for synthetic sleeping bags as well, but definitely that should be used for down sleeping bags. Um, a couple other things to note on this bag, um, it does have a special um, zip that's going to be a little bit more uh, snag resistant. So to help yeah. with that annoyance when you're trying to kind of zip down a bag and it gets stuck on things. So they do have a snag resistant zipper. Um, there's also a secondary zipper on the other side that's shorter for ventilation. So it's kind of nice if you just need a little bit of extra air and on the side, um, shorter zipper that just goes like that far down into yeah, the bag. Yeah, just like a foot and a half or something. Yeah, just for a little extra ventilation. Yeah, and those are really some of the mo the main components about this trestle sleeping bag. Great option for someone that's going, probably definitely just a three season bag, would not want to take this in anything colder than 20 degrees. Um, and you know, for a great like one, two night backpacking trip, good option. Yeah, and then also the stuff sack that it comes in is pretty nice. Um, yeah, it does come with the stuff sack. So it's like compressible, you can tighten these straps and just uh, cut down on the bulk of your bag, which may sound like a small thing but that can go a long way yeah. if you got a backpack full of things so yeah, yeah it's a great bag yeah that's the marmot trussel eco elite sleeping bag <laughs>